In this lesson, we're going to look at how to create some simple motion, but we're not going to use the entire motorcycle assembly. We're just going to take the fork. So click on the fork and click the open assembly icon and then click the animation tab at the bottom of the feature manager. The first type of motion that we want to create is we want to drive the front wheel to spin and we're going to use a motor to do that. The motor is going to first allow us to specify a rotary motor or a linear motor, and we'll stick with a rotary motor. Then the motor location will zoom in and select the inside diameter of the front hub. And SolidWorks establishes a rotation direction, and that's great. If we didn't like that, we'd pivot that the other way. And now SolidWorks wants us to establish a fixed part in the background. So this would be, if we use our tree, the motorcycle tree bottom. And from here, constant speed at 100 RPM, that'll be fine, just enough to show the wheel spinning around. So now we've got a time frame of five seconds that the motor is running. So let's click on the Calculate button and SolidWorks calculates the motion of the wheel. It looks like the brake disc is rotating backwards, but that's just an illusion. So the next type of motion that we want to create is the linkage moving up and down. So let's move this time bar back to the one second mark and zoom in, grab a face of our linkage and pull it down. Then move to the two second mark and push it up slightly. Three second mark, pull it down. Four second mark, pull it up. And the five second mark, we'll just let it be right there. So let's now click the calculate again. And we see SolidWorks going through the motion that we've assigned. Then go through and delete the gray marks. These are marks that are being imposed on the motion of the linkage by the motion of the wheel. So let's go through and recalculate. And notice now the motion is somewhat smoother. The mark at the end, at the four second mark, is red. So let's delete that mark, click on it, and press delete on the keyboard. Then reposition the time bar to four seconds and should be able to go through this with the time bar only. That seems to be correct. So let's hit the recalculate. All right, so now reset to four seconds. Zoom in here, push this up, and then recalculate. Okay, pull it back to the beginning and play from start. So we get the motion of the wheel going up and down and the wheel spinning at the same time. 